What's up, you guys? It is Mira, it is Shiva, it is Vera, it is Scorpion Bread Cero, and I am back at it again. One time for the one time. What is going on, my babies? Listen, we are getting into today your inner uh wisdom guidance like your inner guidance that you want to give to yourself at this current moment i don't know what sign we're going to be reading for right now i'm going to use my um astro dice and we're going to take a, a a shake and we're going to see who we uh reading for today so you guys focus your energy and let's hope your sign comes out all right so who is this is this uh pisces this is what this pisces Yes, Pisces. All right, Pisces. Treat me nice, please. All right, Pisces. Let's get into this. Pisces, let's get into this reading. Okay, so before we get into this reading, Pisces, I want to give a shout out to all my OGs. I want to give a shout out to all my newbies. I want to give a shout out to every last one of my babies that has been like, sharing, subscribing, and clicking this video and just showing me love. We're going to give some love to God before we tap into today's reading. So, Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here, Collective Beliefs for the Sign of Pisces. Thank you for um, just loving us and um, please give the Sign of Pisces their innermost uh guidance that they want to give to their self their inner wisdom that they need to give to their self at this moment uh we thank you for all the wisdom and guidance and the love and protection that you've given us in the past present and future amen and amen and amen all right all right pisces let's get into this baby all right pisces treat me nice please let's get into this what's the inner guidance that you have for yourself at this current moment. Pisces, what's the inner guidance that you would like to tell to yourself at this current moment, Pisces? All right. What is the inner guidance message that Pisces would like to give to yourself at this moment? All right. All right. All right. What's the inner guidance that Pisces wants to give to their self at this current moment. What is the inner guidance? You got gifts from God? Off oh, right now. Come on, Pisces. You better go ahead and receive some gifts from God right now. And then you got moon cycles. All right. All right. Let's see what we got going on here, Pisces. So I feel like right now, like you've been lifted from a situation. You've been experiencing a lot of um, freedom currently. Um, these cycles and these changes uh, that have been closing in your life. There are cycles that have been closed permanently there's new doors that have been opening and you definitely feel like you've been gifted at this current moment at this current moment it says we angels bring you gifts from your creator open your arms to receive all right and it says notice how the moon affects your energies and manifestations and capitalize upon those cycles Y'all know we just recently had like a big, was it super blue moon or something like that? I don't know. <laughs> so hopefully y'all capitalized on that energy. Let's see what we got here. What is the innermost guidance that Pisces would like to say to their self right now? What is the innermost guidance? What does Pisces want to tell yourself right now? You got the Hierophant in the reverse and you got the Judgment in the reverse. And under the deck, you got the Strength card. Alright, so I'm going to have to pull that out because that's the message right there. Hmm. So, with the Hierophant in the reverse and the Judgment in the reverse, you could have had like... um. I don't know. Right now, you're in a moment of detachment, um, especially in regards to any type of organized groups, um, any type of society, societal norm 
that was normal to you, you know, at that point in time. I feel like you breaking away, like you're changing your subscription, like you're no longer subscribed, like it doesn't no longer resonate with you. With this judgment in the reverse, it feels like, oh, I just heard ain't nobody about to capitalize on my success anymore. Okay, come on now. Um, because, you know, like I said, uh, the Hierophant in the reverse is like, I just heard unfair teachings. It's like, I heard it's unfair to the students. It's like unfair practices or something like that. So it's like, in some type of way, it's like, they want you to work for them and be underpaid or not given the correct title or the correct level of respect. Or like I said, it maybe was some type of unfair practices that, uh, oh shit, you just said you might want to get some lawyers involved. <laughs> okay, come on Pisces, Pisces ain't playing, okay? That's what that strength card is coming in. It's like you standing up for yourself. Like you know good and damn well, like whatever it was, it wasn't right for you and it wasn't fair for you to keep going and continue to like, Conduct your life in these traditions and these in these rules and and, and 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 you know think that you're gonna be stable and and you know that you're gonna live a prosperous life. It's like I can't be associated with these groups and these type of people anymore. So that, like there's some type of separation. Like you're making some type of judgment call. You don't like what they're doing. You don't like what's going on. You don't like how people are being treated. You may not like the uh, the scripture or the language or the text it may be like someone might have wrote it their self it's like they may be using God's word in vain or it's just it's something that's just not right with this group of people you know what I'm saying and it's like you know you've completely separated yourself from these people um you feel like it's a gift from God like you're thankful for your strength at this current moment I feel like you finally beat the system you finally found a way to like stand up for yourself and fight back and just like look the devil in the eye or look whoever this hierophant in the reverse whoever this leader whoever this um i don't know if it was like a i i'm hearing like an unfair judge of character it's like you had no right to be in that position you do have no right to like try to position yourself in that place and it's like you may be standing up to somebody and telling them it's like you don't even know what you're talking about it's like you don't even know what you're doing and you're trying to lead people and you're trying to tell people what to do or you're trying to uh tell people that you're providing structure or, or telling people that they should abide by your rules and you're nobody you don't know what you're doing you you like how did you even get the credentials to even sit in this place like no one should listen to you it's like you are like really like going off but in a good way because it was like somebody needed to stand up and like really call somebody out for some type of injustice or type of wrongdoing or something like that and like uh pisces is definitely taking some balls and standing up for this soap right here so um shout out to you pisces like pisces treat me nice please pisces is like no you know what i'm saying because i don't like the way things are going i don't like the way you're doing things and something is going to change and if i don't stand up and say something about it um it's going to be the same shit, you know, and mm -mm, I don't have no patience for that. And it's not going to fly here no more. And I don't know if that's your gift from God. Like, listen, you see, because like this person think they so ferocious and stuff. And you're not even scared of this motherfucker. Like, I don't care. Like, you don't scare me. <laughs> you don't scare me at all. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, maybe something that maybe once put some fear in your heart or you were scared to talk up or speak your pieces like you you don't feel that way no more no and i'm disassociating i don't want to establish myself in this institution no more um i'm unenrolling uh i i want you know shit i don't even want my money back you can keep the fucking money like i don't want shit from you like i don't even want anybody to know that i associated with this group you know what i'm saying it's like Mm -mm. Ooh, fresh air. Now you got fresh air too. <laughs> Pisces can breathe again. Come on, Pisces. Stop playing with them. One more card for Pisces. One more card. And it says there's nothing to worry about. 
You ain't got nothing to worry about. Look, Pisces is free and clear. I feel like you're free and clear of any energy that you feel um again okay and you got energy work right here so Pisces has been definitely working on yourself and again I feel like you have defeated the system you have stood up for justice you stood up for your rights you stood up for what is meaningful and value to you you have your own belief systems and it's like I'm not willing to change my belief systems to fit into some group or to appease you or to um, live by your rules. Like, no, nah, I don't. Like, We don't even believe in the same things anymore. So it's like you might have changed and you don't. I feel like you see something for what it is and it's finally like I can breathe now. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I can let myself go it says your body needs refreshment and option and oxygenated air generated by grass trees plants and flowers spend time outside today as near to mother nature's cradle as possible open your curtains and windows to fresh to refresh your home as well so you need fresh air you put your feet in the grass, ground yourself, get some fresh, you know, natural light. Go outside where the animals at. Go see some natural flowing water, you know. It says there's nothing to worry about. You are safe. And this situation is under perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. Oh, baby, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You are free and clear. <laughs> Just know you are highly favored and protected, Pisces. God ain't playing about you. Uh-uh. I just heard God seeing your resistance to the situation. God seen the resistance to the situation. Mm -hmm. Just two more cards and we are done. What is Pisces innermost guidance to itself right now? You got the temperance and then you got the nine of swords, baby. The, <laughs> the nightmare is over, baby. That shit is over. You feel so good right now. Look at that temperance card. You and your boat. You feel confident. You feel free. You feel at peace with yourself. <laughs> All your hope and your faith and your wishes and everything has been covered true to yourself. And the nightmare is over. You don't have to worry no more. You don't have to stress. You don't have to overthink. You literally, I feel like you almost feel so much free time and peace with yourself. You don't even know what to do. <laughs> Like, you literally don't even know what to do because it's like, I got to find something else to talk to God about now because I don't have any worry. Like, I'm so good. I feel so prepared for myself to really step into my true calling, my true blessings, my true manifestations, everything. I, I feel free. I feel abundant I believe you know <laughs> I could dream again and anything I want to do I can accomplish it because all of this chaos and all of this frustration or whatever the heck it was that was holding me back these people that I didn't need to be involved with like all of that is gone and I could finally relax and find some comfort and take some leadership in my life I'm looking on my wall and my eyes went right to new beginnings in leadership, independence, creativity, being driven and original. So you go, Pisces, you go and do your thing. Shout out to you. Your message from your innermost self right now is that, baby, you have been lifted. <laughs> you listen, everything is good. Whatever cycles or whatever it was that you were going through, it is over. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Go and enjoy your life. Go and celebrate yourself. 
Go and celebrate yourself. God gave you the gift of freedom and happiness and true joy, baby. True joy. Listen, what goes up must come down, you know? And sometimes when you've had cycles of just like not being complete, not feeling happy, not feeling whole, not feeling like things are fair and, and, and right and just for you. When those cycles close, baby, you ain't got nowhere but up to go. It's nowhere but up from here. And God got you. You were covered. I want you to be in peace. I want you to stay in peace. I want you to celebrate yourself, honey. Because you made a judgment call. And, 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 and God is very proud of you. Extremely proud of you. Extremely proud of you. Let's sleep in dogs lie, baby. And you continue to float on with your little sexy ass. That's what you do. Come on, Pisces. Treat me nice, please. I'm up out of here. I will see y'all in the love portion. Because we're about to go over to the love portion. So y'all make sure y'all hit this like button. Y'all get down in the uh, comments. Put some energy down in the comments. Y'all let me know if this resonates. If, uh, shit, claim this energy. Y'all put our claim it. You know what I'm saying? And the best way to show me love is to hit that like button. Okay? I love y'all. Thank y'all for loving yourself. I see y'all in the love edition. Peace.